So Master Wong, um, with the Tai Chi obviously being a form based, uh, mainly when you practice it, and then try and apply it to combat, how does those sort of big hand movements sort of deal with maybe, you know, like more like aggressive, more... So quick, come attack me! Yeah. So the practice to see my body position, when I walk in the exact same, all this line. So again, back like that. Yeah, low. Mm -hmm. So that when you're attacking, in Tai Chi, it's a lot of big. Yeah. Yeah? And then you come in a lot of big. Yeah. yeah, a lot of big movement like this. It's all, all this movement a bit. Yeah? So when you attack them in that one, two, and then your shoulder like this already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, straight, bam! And that's when your ribcage broken. Yeah, that's quite a heavy hit, isn't it? Yeah. Whole because the chin style training on the movement, it's like powerful movement here. Yeah. Whole body. Whole body coming to break yeah. your ribcage. You're vulnerable there, obviously. Yeah. And that's uh, the whole idea of the Tai Chi side. It learned to express the body already. And you move like that already. And when you react, you react the same to the form you're trying to do. You practice a similar thing. Okay. So yeah. it's not too much a bigger step really to, to transfer it over. Just but by you do it properly. Yeah. The form you mean? The form. Okay. Otherwise you use it, it cannot be done. So if you're practicing the form in saying a way that's not really relevant? Then that would be it. You can't use it when it comes to combat? No. Okay. Does that answer you? Yeah, you get the form right. <laughs> you need to practice to get the form right. Yeah. That's the thing in the Tai Chi combat on the chin style designed to bash people up and designed to use in the movement of the body. If you cannot do the form properly low like that, when in the reality time, you cannot pull them out. Is that answer the question fair?